Welcome to the dead ball area. We all enjoy length of the field tries, but sometimes scoring is about being able to mix it up front as well as in the backs. There's no denying the Brumbies are an exciting team with ball in hand, but a trademark of this team is their ability to play what's in front of them, be it wide or in close. And when Rory Arnold powered over for a classic forwards try from a line out, we once again got a good example of this. The try occurred in the opening 10 minutes of the game, and we're going to have a look at it in a little bit more detail. It all starts with a soft penalty from the forces Pat Cowan. Even though the Brumbies have been building momentum, the force have been defending reasonably well. But the problem starts when Cowan gets himself on the wrong side of the ball to slow it down, and this results in the Brumbies winning a penalty inside the forces red zone. Now seven minutes into the game, you'd normally expect the Brumbies to take a shot at goal, but two minutes earlier they gained a lot of ground with a rolling ball from a line out, and they decide to kick for the corner and go for the try. In my opinion, with a line out five minutes from the opposition's try line, there's only one option. Catch, set and drive off the first jumper, and the Brumbies do exactly that with Rory Arnold getting up and claiming the ball. A defending 5 metre line out is a real game of chess and the force have a few options available to them. First of all they can try to steal the line out or on landing they can not compete and sack the line out which is pulling the catcher to ground as soon as he lands or they can go for the big drive on landing. They can also step around the catcher when he lands and get between the ball and the catcher's support sealing it in. They can attack the ball on landing trying to dislodge it or finally they can just not compete at the line out and go for the Italian defence which is backing off the mall, sending one person in to do the tackle. That brings the ball carrier to ground before a mall is formed and the ball is transferred. The force decide not to compete at the line out, but go for the big drive to destabilise the catch and set. And the Brumbies have seen this, and as we move it on, we can see Sam Carter steps straight through the line out and positions himself in front of the catcher, blocking off the drive on Arnold. This also would stop anyone reaching over and slapping at the ball or sacking the jumper. It's intelligent, but it's also obstruction and illegal. It should really be a penalty of force, but play is allowed to continue. Now, Once Arnold lands, there are two things the Brumbies can do. They can transfer the ball to the back of the ball by hand, or they can slide the ball carrier back. Arnold transfers the ball to Butler after he lands, and as the ball is formed around him, we see Butler's teammates maintain their bind and allow him to slide back with the ball until he is the rearmost player in the mall. At this point, the only defensive options left to the force are collapse the mall or spin and split. The third option of swimming through the middle of the mall was cut off by Carter on landing. As the Brumbies begin to push, Carter and Arnold steer the mall where they want it to go, and the force go for the spin and split and do pretty well. They get the Brumbies' mall to the touchline, but eventually the Brumbies split and we see Butler break off. From here it's simple two man pods to pick and go until the Brumbies create a slight imbalance, and we see Arnold, having got himself back in the game, get nice and low and Carter comes in and acts as the hammer, driving him over for the score. Now, I don't personally find malls or pick and goes the most exciting element of rugby, but I appreciate the impact they can have on a game, and this is a well taken try. To put this into the game's context, it's a fascinating statement of intent from the Brumbies. Five minutes into the game, the Brumbies are setting down a marker that essentially equates to if we can't go around you, we will go through you, and the forces' chances of winning the game are pretty much finished right here. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter.